especially on Gladden TV. Based on trust, what you have is probably the ultimate form of purity. There's no middleman. There's nobody to support you in the time of need. When one party decides, you know what, I don't want to do this no more. You'll never find out whether or not that person's willing to help you sincerely if there's always a third party involved. Yo, what's up, y'all? Another day in the life of Gladden TV. I know I've been gone for about a month and a half now, but uh, nothing has changed for me. I've just been buying as much as I can for as little as I can. Coins in particular. Did you buy Bitcoin and Litecoin? Just those three. There's other coins that I want, but um, sad to say, I mean, I can't afford them. Um, I'm not gonna do speculation on price when it comes to crypto, but I wanna give you an example of what I think is called bad information. Um, let's just pretend Pokemon cards work work just like cryptos. Let's just say there was a Pikachu Pokemon card that was about a penny and you were speculating to make a little bit of money because just like crypto it rised up in price like that's like the number one thing people look for they don't look for the utility they don't look for anything other besides that you know? I would recommend for a person to buy that Pokemon card. The thing that costs a penny. Why? Because if you bought it at a penny, that means you can double your money from a penny to two pennies, right? Now, if you buy in at two pennies, it has to go to four pennies. You following me? If it goes to four pennies, you gotta wait until it goes to eight pennies. And if it goes to eight pennies, you gotta wait until it goes to 16 pennies. It's no different than the illusion that, let's just say Bitcoin gives everybody. I think right now it's at $43,000. So in a sense, in order for you to make a little bit of coin, it would have to go to about $86,000. Now what's more realistic? What's more reachable? A penny to two pennies or from 46,000 to 86,000? Some will say, well, it's inevitable. Bitcoin or this Pokemon card or this digital asset or this trading card game will go there. I just think it's bad information. Buy things that you can afford, that have utility, that have potential. That 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 would be my uh, that would be things that I would go after. Because sometimes you got to do crazy things to get crazy results. But other than that, um, yeah, as the market continues to uptick and. Um, more and more people start talking about it, kind of like how the people in your life are coming out of the woodworks and saying, hey man, you know about this crypto thing? You know about this? Although it's a signal not to get out, it's a signal that you know, information, information is trickling down to the people who haven't been in this space like you have. But, um, It's still gonna take time. How much time? Don't know. For me, I feel like it's gonna take eight years, eight more years. Now, I've been in this space for a while now, right? Most people get it done in eight years, right? Their first four, 
or the first half of that four, it, it should be a learning curve, you know? And of course, the more you know, the more you learn, the more you don't know. The more you learn, the more you realize you don't know. And after you get past that first um, cycle, first four years, you go into your next cycle. That's normally when people, you know, break the chain, break the cycle as far as personally in their lives, you know. But for me, it's just gonna take a little bit longer, you know. I just feel like it's gonna take another eight years. So I'm looking at, what's the year, 2024? I'm looking at, let's just say 2032. That's where I'm at with it. Um, that's a long time from now. That's almost a decade from now, but yeah. Um, that's just what it is. That's just what my, that's just what my heart is telling me. Now, can things change? Yeah, sure. Will, will, will I see confirmation along the way? Yeah, sure, but to be free from all this, to be free from working, to be free from just personal things that I feel that are bullshit, yeah, eight years. Even when I get to eight years, it's still not done. It's still a journey. But, uh, I'll say it, I said it before, but I'll say it again. It only takes one. Similar to a person who plays basketball. You know when the tip-off first begins, you jump and the opposing team jump, you don't get the ball, they get the ball. The person you're guarding, he ends up, you know, having 40 points, 10 rebounds, 10 steals, 10 uh, assists, triple-double. They're on the verge of winning, right? But you, you hit the game-winning shot. Nobody remembers nothing else but you winning that game, win that, that game. So, um, just strive and go for yours, believe in yourself, and uh, don't let anybody tell you that it's going to be easy, because it's not. It's going to be a continuous battle that um, only the strong will survive in. But uh, I'm going to wrap it up with this and just say... Would you rather would you rather lose no let me say it this way would you rather make it and lose it or would you never or would you rather never make it at all now some people might say how can you cry over spilled milk how do you cry over something you've never had i say what's worth having is worth fighting for and you just gotta do it, man. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. When everybody's telling you you can't, that should be somewhat of confirmation to yourself that you can. And uh, that's kind of all I got, but I'm gonna say this. I signed up for the LA Marathon 2024 again. The first time it was hell. I did it, but this time it's personal. Don't ask me why. It's, like a, it's personal between myself, but um, I was supposed to do the uh, Rose Bowl out here in California, but I registered late, basically disqualified myself, sold out, and I'm sure the LA Marathon will be sold out too as well, eventually. But I'm already registered, I'm already, already got my gear and all that, so. Um, work out, believe in yourself, go after what you think is yours, and um, know that nobody's gonna give you anything in this world. That's all I got. See y'all next week.